Hello my dear followers and friends of FlexiArt, the world of contortion and flexibility. Welcome to a brand new episode of teaching deeper flexibility and entering the beautiful world of contortion. So have fun with the show, open your mind and be always ready for new inspiration. Yes, hello everybody, here's Frederick, the contortion coach from FlexiArt Contortion. Last week I did a little journey into our neighbor country Poland and uh, I did some workshop stuff there and meeting nice bandy people all over the, the Poland places I visited. I was in Warsaw and I was in Lublin and this is from Lublin and I met Ivi. Ivi uh, is a really very famous pole dancer and aerial acrobat and she is really great in her flexibility. We worked together uh, two years ago and this was the second chance to meet and train together. And first of all, we worked a little bit on her straddle split backband combinations. Her straddle splits are quite good as you can see. She is really simply sitting flat on the floor. So we now try to increase a little bit more the back flexibility in straddle positions. This is a little bit special. You can see that uh, it has also something to do with developing your balance point because uh, the perfect thing is if you do it like that, that one day you can do it by yourself and holding the position you will see in the next round. Now then she has now to bring up her arms in a straight position and find a little bit the balance point. You see the shoulders and the head are a little bit over the butt, so a little bit more more than over the butt, so that in total you will be able to balance the position. In the background in the mirror you can see us in, a, in another perspective, so you can see her arms are way behind her, her leg line. In total everything is more or less balanced and this is what we are trying to reach out that she one day can hold it by herself. A little bit uh, practicing even on the stretch of course so that the head goes a little bit closer to the butt but not definitely super extreme. This is not the idea here. Well, we try really to, to find out new things and stretching is for her of course not new but these balancing things are something which is even for her not what she does every day. All right, so then we will make a third round of stretching and this time going a little bit deeper, closer from uh, the head to the butt and you can see how I support here. So first of all, shoulders deep. This is always a major thing that the neck is definitely long and can go far behind. Then controlling a bit with the left hand at the lower back uh, and with the right hand helping her into a deeper stretch. We always combine it with a breathing, synchronization with the breathing, that means breathing out and the head goes deeper. Breathing in, we wait a second and then breathing out and forcing a little bit the stretch. Everything very relaxed, very careful. And this is what always the idea behind it. So then you can see here comes the blocks. That means we will go into little over splits. For people who are really sitting easily on the floor. It has no idea to let them always just on the floor. So we go in over splits. But over splits means always a block under a foot, means half size of it under the knee so that the leg stays straight. A block is something six, eight centimeters, two flexi plates, four. And as you can see at her face, yes, it hurts a little bit more because even this stretch is for someone who has a good straddle split more than what you are normally used to. And of course, this is the idea behind it. That's why we train. We want to increase. It needs a little bit power to push because the muscles give a little natural resistance and we try to make them carefully a little bit longer. And here at its end, the same thing. She's pushing herself up, shoulders deep, and then the head slowly backwards. And then we start going into a deeper back bend. Same thing, first of all, little bit push on the lower back then going with the hand with a block line a little bit higher something between lower and upper back and here the same thing carefully going deeper into the position to help her to increase this uh, back flexibility it is as you can see even for her a bit harder 
but we do it carefully. So I think everything was fine and she was laughing after it because uh, she is a professional acrobat. She likes this going over the border, going, giving a little bit more than normal. Yeah, that was it about the straddle split we did together. Then we changed into backbend stuff. A little bit typical backbend stuff. Even her backbends are quite good, as you can see. But she told me before the that she has a little problem with the upper back, with the shoulder region. There is a little bit blocking since a few days, so we have to be careful. That means, first of all, we really stretch this region, region a bit with opening the shoulders in combination with doing a deeper backbend. Now the breathing is easy when you do it that way around. We're not always starting directly with chest and stuff something. This is something what we do in phase two. In phase one, it's always more coming out of Cobra combinations and variations because the breathing is easier. You don't feel your body weight. Uh, you can handle it a lot better. And for me, it's quite cool to see how the body reacts, especially if someone has a little bit problem like Evie has here in her upper back. But in my eyes, everything works quite fine. And uh, so we can now increase in the second round a little bit more the, the back flexibility so that head and butt goes a little bit closer together. Now, this is what everybody who is uh, on this advanced level wants one day to reaching the headset position. That means touching the back of the head to the butt. Okay, here's the same thing. She pushes back, breathes out and I push her a little bit deeper into it. And you see the distance between head and butt is getting less and less. This is what we want. It works really a lot with the breathing. This is a major thing. Then you see I support her at her rib cage. This is a major thing. Never at the belly button region because then you cannot breathe anymore. When you hold someone there, use the rib cage. The rib cage is stable, strong, and there you can support. You see now with the left hand or with the right hand pushing a little bit more down so that she goes more back. This is the idea with it. So supporting is definitely everything what we want. Supporting is so necessary. It's not what some people think when you work with a coach, just stupid pushing into it in a very extreme way. No, to work with a coach means to be supported. Supporting gives you safety, a good feeling that you can go deeper into things, which you not think it's cool when you do it alone. Uh, and of course, the support of the coach means that he really understands what happens in your body so that he can give a push if it's cool and he stops and hold and bring you safely back when he realizes it's not so cool anymore or we go too fast or too deep. Simple thing. So second round, then we go into chest stand. Uh, when I do chest stand with people, I use this method to bring someone into it that he doesn't have to use so much energy by himself. This pushing into the chest then is what costs a lot energy. Of course, you do it also because you have to learn it. You don't always have someone who helps you. But in the training, when it's just about coordination, breathing and all that stuff, then I help people into the position and that uh, allows us to do it a lot more often uh, without using so much energy. And I can control her because I can lift her up. This is the good thing. And first up and then forward. Uh, so there is a lot less pressure in the lower back. This is one of the main things, really lifting up with the butt so that the lower back doesn't get so much pressure. And here's the same thing. We're using flexi plates under the chin to increase the neck flexibility. But we could feel that there is a little bit stress in the upper back, a little bit blocking. So we did it very, very carefully. All right. In a few days, you can see how we continue with this training. So stay tuned, have fun with your flexibility and bye bye.